Hey guys, so before I start, I want to say I'm sorry my hair is like still kind of damp. It's like in that awkward stage of barely being dry. Anyway, not the point, but today's video is kind of like scandalous, I guess. Uh, a few of the people who watch my videos sent me a link to Reddit and I will post that link down below asking me to talk about this because I haven't seen any videos yet talking about this. I just know of the Reddit post. So yeah, also I didn't like come up with this or whatever. Like this isn't my situation, whatever. Um, I'm just kind of spreading the word because I feel like stuff like this needs to be talked about because you really only see the good side of companies, I guess. And I'm not saying like I want people to bash companies or whatever, but this is pretty serious. Buy with caution. And that goes for pretty much any company. Anyway, just a little disclaimer. I know there are still going to be people who are like, fuck you, bitch. You, you're so fucking negative. All you do is blah, blah, blah. But for those watching who have a brain, yeah. This is on Glitter Injections, which is an Instagram company well that's how I know them a lot of people on Instagram promote them and that's how I know about them but they are a makeup company and they're well known for their glitter like their glitter and syringes that's at least what again oh my god it looked like the top of my head was gray um that's what they're known for so basically what happened is four days ago there was a post on reddit which I urge you to go check that out or else most of this won't make sense, saying that their pressed pigment eyeshadows started getting moldy. This is a huge problem and I will get into it. Again, all this is in the link so if you just click that damn link. I guess people were saying that, that the glitter that is sold by glitter injections aren't even meant for your eyeballs because it's not safe. And someone actually posted another link in the Reddit link of a girl who actually got glitter in her eye and she had to have her eye removed. So it's pretty damn serious and I didn't even realize how serious glitter was because I know some people will go to like Hobby Lobby and use that glitter on their eye and like it's fine, but I didn't know how serious glitter could be in your eyeball. I don't know. I know that some people probably are watching like, are you, are you dumb? What did, what did you expect? So for a company to be selling something that's not even FDA approved for you to be wearing on your eyeball, it's kind of fucked up in my personal opinion. They we're all like posting about how their ingredients are not meant for the eyeball and then they said someone said that they messaged the owner and the owner said that quote unquote I never said you could use them around your eye basically saying that you're not even supposed to be using the stuff they're selling around your eye bitch what where are we supposed to use it on our fucking elbow? I, when I looked at that glitter, I, cause the thing is, is I almost bought some of this stuff myself with my own money and seeing all this, it's like, holy shit. I didn't know the customer service was this bad. Confirmed you're not even supposed to be using this stuff on your eye. So not only is it moldy, but you're not even allowed to use it on your eyeball. Obviously say how I personally feel and not everyone's gonna agree if you, and also if you love this company Then that's amazing for you and I'm not trying to be like no one should buy from this company or whatever. I just feel like These kind of things should be put out there because I have bought from companies in the past who necessarily didn't have things like this come to light and then I ended up getting bitten in the ass because I didn't know that like a certain company I was buying for had shady practices or bad customer service whatever and I wish that there would have been stuff like that for me to see now before I buy from anyone I always make sure to look up any negative reviews because the negative reviews sometimes can be more honest than 
the oh my god five out of five perfect and that's literally the like all the review says so it's a hundred I believe a hundred and eight dollars with for a palette but the magnetic palette is a picture frame from the dollar store someone said girl no mm -mm, that's some Natasha Denona type shit if I'm paying for a hundred a hundred and eight dollar palette that palette not only better be fucking flawless but that shit better put itself on my eyeball by itself because if I'm dropping that much money on a palette that shit better be liquid, eyeshadow pressed, whatever, gold. But a picture frame from the dollar store, bitch, you got me fucked up. And then I guess the owner was claiming that the moldy eyeshadows were photoshopped, which... <sighs> if these companies need to start getting, like, more familiar with the scandals that have gone on, like the Gerard Cosmetics scandal, stuff like that. Why is it so hard for companies and people to just admit their wrongdoings? I know it's, that's actually very hard to do, actually. And I feel like it, it takes a mature person to be like, I was wrong. But being like, bitch, you Photoshop this. This is all on you. That's not going to make anyone want to buy your product. I don't know where these companies are thinking that's okay from because it's not. Oh, and I wanted to mention something too. Sorry if this video is like dragging on a little bit, but I, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because mold is definitely not something to like not take serious because I remember specifically this situation effed me up so bad and obviously this is an extreme case don't get me wrong but it still made me go like girl I was watching in biology class my teacher showed us a movie a little like documentary thing of this girl who who was like very poor is that rude to say she was I don't know how else to say it they they couldn't they could barely afford food and so they had like moldy sandwiches and that's all they could get because they couldn't afford like fresh food and the girl ate it this girl was like eight years old or something she ate it because she didn't she she broke off the moldy part and ate the rest of the sandwich and i guess she had such a bad reaction to the mold she actually died like the mold, I don't remember the specifics because I was in ninth grade when I watched this video, but it stuck with me, girl, because I always thought, number one, you could just break off moldy stuff and eat the rest, but mold is no joke. Yeah, the girl ended up like dying from it because she had such a bad reaction to it. It's not something to be whatever about, you know? Like I said, everyone's been promoting it. YouTubers have been promoting it up the butthole. They need to, if we're not supposed to be using this stuff on our eyes, they need to specify that because I feel like that's misleading. Yeah, all I know is I definitely don't feel comfortable putting any of that shit on my face. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Have you heard of this? I heard this is like a huge scandal. I don't know. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.